Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And let's learn how to do square roots in your head without a calculator. Now, the method I'm showing you here, it's an approximation, right? Because a lot of times square roots are gonna just kinda go on forever, but we're here we're getting a good approximation on how to do square roots quickly in your head. Now, I'm gonna show my steps obviously out so you can see it, but these steps are pretty simple, and by the end of this video, you should be able to do it in your head. Let's we'll start with a square root of 19 as an example. I want to first look at, well, the perfect square that's below the number we're looking for. And the perfect square below 19 is a 16, right? So we have 16 here. And 16, perfect square, right, is a 4 squared, right? Good to know. So 16 is that number we're looking at here. I want to take the number we start with and subtract 16 from it. And that gives me a 3. Okay? So now we have that number 3. 3 divided by the square root of 16, which is 4. Put it right there. And we're going to multiply that denominator, or divide the whole thing, really, by 2. So that's the same thing as right 3 fourths times 1 half, if you want to think of it like that. So we have 3 fourths, right? We got that 4 here from the square root of 16. And 3 fourths, we have 19 minus 16 gives me 3. Divide that by 2 or multiply it by 1 half, and that's a 3 eighths. Or the decimal is 0 0.375, if I remember correctly. Yeah. We then take that 0 0.375 and add it to the perfect square of 16, the 4. So we have 4.375. We add that up, and that's an approximation of. Uh, square root of 19. Now the square root of 19, and still an approximation form, but I'm going to use your calculator I've written down, is a 4.3588989 dot 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 dot. Kind of goes on forever. That's a pretty darn close approximation right here that we can quickly do those steps in our head. Now let's go try another one. Square root of 27. Same process. Perfect square below that is going to be 25, right? 5 squared is equal to 25. We want the first one below it. So I take 27 and minus a 25 to it, and I get a 2. I take 2 divided by that 5 right here, okay, right? 5 squared being 25, and let's multiply it by 1 half, a little easier to see. Or denominator, just multiply it by 2, and we have 2 over 10, or that's 0 0.2 as a decimal. We add that to 5 and we have 5.2 right here and that's our approximation for the square root of a 27. What does it come out when you use your calculator? Well square root of 27 is a 5.19615 going on forever and that's pretty darn close, right? Square root of 27 we got to be 5.2 approximately and we can easily do that in our head. Well, hey, I hope you learned something here on how to do square roots in your head, and maybe you can you know, surprise your friends or a nice little party trick. If you learned something and you had fun, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these well, fun videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.